Speaking of getting involved, the USDA is asking many of you farmers across the state to take a little bit of your time to tell the National Agricultural Statistics Service about your farm. Several times a year, NAS sends out surveys to farmers across the country. Tammy Arinder is standing by with a friend of Twyla to tell us all about it. Tammy Arinder here visiting with Nathan Crisp of NAS. And Nathan, we know that this year is an extremely important year for you and your organization and the farmers. Tell us about that. Well, this is uh, the year that we will be mailing our 2012 Census of Agriculture out to the farmers. We'll be mailing oh close to three million form, uh, agriculture forms out for the farmers to fill out throughout the United States. In Louisiana, we'll be mailing close to 40,000 of those forms out to the farmers. It's important that they get those forms filled out and back in so that, that we can set our baseline that what's happening in agriculture for this year. And every five years we conduct this sense of agriculture, so it's important that they get that done. And if they don't do it, I mean, it really has an impact on those numbers and the money that could be paid out down the road, correct? Yes, because this is a census where we need all the data, all the information. Because if you miss a form out that the average yields and things like that may not calculate correctly, and if you have a large form that don't reply back, actually it hurts our data collection effort. And it, it affects every single crop, whether it's aquaculture, agriculture, all of them are going to get that, correct? Every farmer, uh, our culture producer, catfish producer will get this form. Right. Yes, What's the deadline? When you get it, how long do you have before you have to turn it back in? We'll be mailing out in December. Our deadline uses by mid-February. Okay. So you got a little time to do it. Yeah, they got a little time to do it. they got a little time to get their financials together, their records together, pull all that data together on what they did that year in 2012 and send that form back into us. And we'll get it all processed and acreage and yields calculated so they can be used for their uh, the information on their farm when they get ready to file you know losses and things like that on their farm that the information be accurate and they're available for them and probably some good advice for them too is throughout the year keep up with with the numbers keep up with that paperwork and that way it's not such a burden when they get that survey in the mail correct that's so correct that's so correct because we want to keep the information current and accurate very good. Nathan, thank you so much. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Very good. So don't forget, when you get that survey, take that time and send it back in. Back to you. Thanks, Tammy. Still to come on This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, you've heard of praying for rain, but what if rain falls on a special day of prayer? Kristen Oaks tells us what it could mean in this week's Ag Minute.